Hey there, friends. Good morning. It's morning here on the farm. I didn't get a video posted and I have extra time because I'll be doing chores late because I did chores late last night. Anyway, I'm here today because I am participating in the seven days of salad. This is put on by Carolina Treats Gluten-Free Kitchen. Thank you for your invitation. I'm so excited to be part of this. I wasn't clear if I was supposed to put one video out or all seven days. So I decided, originally I thought I was just gonna do one video. I had my salad in mind and then I thought, let me challenge myself and see if I can do seven days. I already messed up. I didn't get it posted on the first day. So today you'll probably get two videos, fingers crossed. But I'm gonna go ahead and at least bring you one salad today. I'm gonna to whip it up real quick and I'm gonna bring you in a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. And we're going to make a roast beef salad. Here I have about a half of a roast beef that I had previously made earlier in the week. And my husband has been asking for this roast beef salad as a sandwich. We like to eat these. You know, it's kind of the same concept of a chicken salad sandwich, except it's made with roast beef. And usually I throw all this in the food processor, but my food processor went down on Thanksgiving several years ago, and I just never replaced it. I had a lovely one that I used to make butter and do all kinds of things in, but I have so many lovely KitchenAid attachments that I found that it does almost everything that I need with those attachments, except a few things like this. But that's okay, I can use a good knife and just get in there and hand chop it. So what you wanna do, there's no real specific numbers of anything. It's kind of one of those recipes that you go by look and taste and feel. So I'm going to just chop all this beef up real fine if I can. It doesn't matter if you have big chunks. It's all about the texture that you and your family enjoy. For us, we like the small pieces, but you absolutely could do this with shredded meat too. A lot of times it's good when you have just a little bit of beef left. This is a great way to make it stretch out. I actually specifically reserved a half of a roast beef because um, I knew we wanted lots of this because we could eat on this for several days making lunches super easy. You can serve this on a bed of lettuce. You can serve this on bread or toast. Today, I'm gonna to do a sampling on cracker. And see, just as quick as this, we have this all chopped up. And honestly, it's a lot easier to wash anyway. But maybe someday I will go ahead and get myself another food processor. I had a Cuisinart and I absolutely loved it. It was so handy. Just like that, it's chopped. The next thing I'm going to add is mayonnaise. You know, mayonnaise is one of those things where I hope to try to learn to teach myself to make one day, but I haven't taken that leap yet. You can use Miracle Whip if you want, but it is sweeter. And what I'm gonna add next is got a bit of sweetness to it. And this is just another one of those things. Let your heart tell you how much to put in. I'm gonna use this whole jar. It looks like it's about a cup. We have quite a bit of meat. It will kind of just soak that right up. Mix that in. And I think it's gonna be about perfect. Now normally I will, would add a sweet relish. I have a zucchini relish that I make that I love and I can, 
but I was looking in the cabinets and I found some chow chow, which I also love, and decided I'm gonna add some chow chow this time. Let me bring you in a little closer and show you what it is. It's got bits of carrot and green tomatoes and peppers. And I don't remember what all I have in there, but it's a little chunkier than I would like to use for this particular salad. So I'm gonna grab about three tablespoons, three to four here, and I'm going to just give them a little fine chop. There's mustard seed in here and just all sorts of flavors, and I think that it would give it a little something extra this time than we're used to. It's another thing, you don't use exact measurements. You just go with what your family would enjoy. We're just gonna add all that in there. And so this has sugar in the brine. It's sweet, it's tart, it has both. So it's not really necessary to do the Miracle Whip, but if that's what you have, don't let it stop you from trying this salad. I'm gonna give this a quick little mix. See if I need to add anything else. Yeah. I think I'm gonna add just a couple more seasonings. Just a little bit of salt. I usually use a pink Himalayan kosher salt, but this is what I have handy today. So this is what we'll use. Some pepper, my husband likes lots of pepper, although there are red peppers in here. And I think I'm just gonna put a dash of paprika. Give it a good mix here. Doesn't that look interesting? I know, sometimes the ugly food tastes the best though. I'm gonna use this container that we had our meat in. I'm gonna put the salad back in it so that it is not using up another dish. And it just fits perfectly right back in there. Reserving just a little bit for us to do a taste test. And a whole wheat cracker here. My family likes this so much that this is actually one of the foods that we served at a graduation party. So just spread it on a cracker here. Let's give it a taste test. Try it together, shall we? Mm. Mm-hmm. It's pretty simple recipe. I think once it sets in the fridge a little bit more, all the flavors will meld together. So this will be perfect because lunchtime is really hard for me. So people can serve themselves, make themselves a sandwich or, um, Put it on a bed of lettuce, crackers like me. Guys, thanks for watching me make this roast beef salad. I hope you give it a try. And thanks again for um, Catalina Treats Gluten-Free Kitchen for inviting me to be part of your seven days of salad collaboration. Bye friends. If you're not already, I would like to invite you to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you ring that notification bell if you'd like to see more videos like this. And of course, if you enjoyed this one, give me a thumbs up. Let me know you'd like to see more.